My colleagues, there are very strong emotions throughout this House today. We are all horrified by this dreadful attack on our friends and on our colleagues and those who serve and protect this Capitol. We are all praying for those who are attacked and for their families. Steve Scalise, Zachary Barth, Matt Micah, Special Agent David Bailey, Special Agent Crystal Greiner. We are all giving our thoughts to those currently being treated for their injuries at this moment. And we are united. We are united in our shock. We are united in our anguish. An attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. I know we want to give our thanks to the first responders and to the Alexandria Police Department who are on the scene in minutes. And I know this House wants to state unequivocally that we are, as ever, awed by the tremendous bravery of the Capitol Police. <laughs> I spoke with Special Agent Bailey and Special Agent Greiner this morning. One was being treated and one was about to go into surgery. I expressed our profound gratitude to them. It is clear to me, based on various eyewitness accounts, that without these two heroes, Agent Bailey and Agent Greiner, many lives would have been lost. I know that we all want to learn as much as we can about what happened. We just all received a briefing from the Sergeant of Arms. I have complete confidence in the investigation that's being conducted by the Capitol Police, the FBI, who are also working with local law enforcement. I know we want to extend our gratitude for the outpouring of support that we've received from throughout the Capitol and from throughout the country. And now, knowing Steve Scalise, as we all do, he is likely really frustrated that he's not going to be able to play in the baseball game. <laughs> I also know that Steve wants all of us to commend the bravery of those who came to the aid of the wounded. In the coming days, we will hear their stories, and we will have the chance to hold up their heroism. My colleagues, there are so many memories from this day that we will want to forget, and there are so many images that we will not want to see again. But there is one image in particular that this House should keep, and that is a photo I saw this morning of our Democratic colleagues gathered in prayer this morning after hearing the news. You know, every day we come here to test and to challenge each other. We feel so deeply about the things that we fight for and the things that we believe in. At times, our emotions can clearly get the best of us. We're all imperfect. But we do not shed our humanity when we enter this chamber. For all the noise and all the fury, we are one family. These were our brothers and sisters in the line of fire. These were our brothers and sisters who ran into danger and sa saved countless lives. So before this house returns to its business, let's just slow down and reflect to think about how we're all being tested right now, because we are being tested right now. 
I ask each of you to join me to resolve to come together, to lift each other up, and to show the country, to show the world that we are one house, the people's house, united in our humanity. It is that humanity which will win the day, and it always will. God bless. I yield.